Hey ladies, so if you click this video, you've probably been hurt by a man before, going through it with your man, and the simple solution is just leave him, be done with him, he's not worth it. But you love him. And I think we've all been in a place where we can admit whether it's cheating, whether it's lying, whether it's not feeling appreciated, you still wanna be with that person. And I like to tell everybody, you can control how people are showing up in your reality because you're manifesting whether you do it intentionally or not. So the guy that you're with that's either cheating, lying, not appreciating you, not enough affection, whatever, you manifested him that way. And because you brought that into your life, you can fix it and flip it around. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, don't beat up on yourself because you love somebody that everybody is telling you is no good for you, ain't shit, da 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 da. Stop listening to them. You love him regardless. And guess what? You will tell yourself you're done with him, but you're probably still with him, right? So I feel like why not fix your mindset? If you're going to be with him regardless, why not fix your mindset that will in turn fix the problem? Okay. So number one, you're going to set your intentions. When you set your intentions, this is not stating your issues. You're setting intentions, meaning you're stating what you want. We got to talk less about what's happening, talk less about the problem, and talk more about the solution. Hello? That's what we need. Solutions. So if, let's say, it's infidelity, instead of being like, I just want him to stop cheating on me or telling him, I need you to stop cheating on me, stop being in these girls' comments or whatever, it's more like, I want to be with a man who is all about me. I want to be with a man who's only interested in being with me, th that's, that's the only words that should be coming out your mouth. Or if it's affection, I want more affection. I want a loving relationship filled with hugs, kisses, all of that. You can either say this out loud, you could write it down. Um, If you're gonna talk to him about it, I suggest only talking again about what you want. It's, hey, this is what I want. Can you do it? Can't you do it? Let me know. Of course, if y'all have been back and forth, you're gonna be like, yeah, I could do it. I'm sorry, baby. Cool. But you have to now take responsibility why you're manifesting that version of him. The version of him that cheats on you, that lies to you, that does all of that. Because, again, it's your life and you control everything in your life, boo-boo. Don't think for one second that that man controls your life. You're going to take back control right here, right now. I talk a lot about this in my book, but I felt like I needed to break it down a little bit more in a YouTube video. So, after you set your intentions and you're clear about what you want, only what you want. And don't. And if you find your use, yourself using words like don't, I don't want him to cheat on me, that's the wrong intention. I want monogamy. I want, a, I want vacations. I want affection. I want him to post me on Instagram. Only talk about what you want, again. Two, gratitude. Attitude of gratitude will get you so far. If you're grateful for what you have now, you're telling the universe, bring me more things to be grateful for. The universe is hearing you. Oh, you like that? Let me give you more of that. Oh, you don't like that? Let me give you more of that. The universe doesn't know wrong or right. It just hears what you're talking about. So if you start talking about everything you're happy for, start talking about the things he does do right. Instead of every time you do something wrong, you call your home girl, Shaniqua, he pissed me off. Every time you do something right, text, text your friend, be like, girl, today he opened the door for me. Any small thing you want to be grateful for, even if you have to write down things that he does right, even if it's not to someone, just telling yourself a reminder and you read that list every day. These are the things he does right. He knows how to wash the dishes right. Whatever he does right, write it down. Keep it in your memory. When he does something you dislike, look at the list of things he do right. That's going to put a smile on your face. Because again, whatever you focus on will multiply. So if we want to stop infidelity, if we want to stop disrespect, if we want to stop whatever issues you want to fix in your relationship, you have to stop focusing on the issue and switch your focus to what's right. Well, what you like, you know, whatever that may be. So we have set your intentions, attitude of gratitude, and then the waiting period. You're going to go through a waiting period where, let's say you're manifesting that he only talks to you romantically. He's always 
a he's a trustworthy person and all of a sudden you start seeing him getting late night texts and you just set your intentions that this man is monogamous and loving to you but he's getting text messages late at night and you're like universe i didn't ask for this what's happening that's okay what's happening currently is your previous manifestation so somewhere along the line you were saying niggas ain't cheat somewhere along the line you were believing that he's texting other girls somewhere along the line you were going through his phone so that's why you're seeing these things currently happen but what you want to do is not feed them because you're focused on your new manifestations the things are that are going to happen for you in the next two weeks so during this waiting period, you're going to see a lot of icky stuff going on. And I know it's, it might be a little hard, but do not feed into them. Do not argue about them. Do not give them no attention because you already set your intentions. You know that this man does not lie anymore. You know that this man is faithful to you. So you don't even see none of that because that could not be happening. That, that happened in your previous life, but your new life doesn't tolerate that. So blind. And again, you've been with this man for how long and he been texting other girls and doing all of this stuff and you still stay with him even though you didn't ignore it. So now I'm giving you the advice to ignore it. Trust the advice. Set your intentions. Have gratitude because what you focus on will multiply. And your waiting period, be patient. Don't think man manifesting doesn't happen overnight. And think about some of the bad stuff you've been telling yourself for all these years. Again, like, Oh, all men are dogs. All men cheat. So that's why that's showing up in your life. It's okay. It's it's gonna it's gonna end soon. I swear to God, it's gonna end. Um, lastly, mirror. You need to be the best you because everyone in your life is you pushed out. So people are gonna become a mirror of you. And I know you're like Star. How is he a mirror of me when I'm not a cheater and he be cheating? Yes, but he is a mirror of your insecurities. You're so worried about men cheating or you think that men cheat that he has become a direct reflection of something you're insecure about or one of your beliefs. So when you're changing your belief system by setting your intentions, he's going to mirror your new intentions. He's going to mirror this new positive, wonderful, best version of you. Because when you're giving the best version of you, you're only going to get the best version of others. And if you're not getting the best version of others, there's something off with you. Because remember, you control your reality. Nobody else controls it. This is your world. You got this, okay? And when you want to become the best version of you, you got to be happy. And this means take the attention off of him. Take him off of a pedestal. And when I say take him off of a pedestal, you don't have time to go through his phone. You don't have time to see who's in his likes. You don't have time to do none of that because you're getting your nails done. You're getting your hair done. You're getting a massage. You, you're doing what feels good to you. You're planting uh, seeds in your garden. If you like gardening, you're sewing. If you like sewing, you're making YouTube videos. If that's what you like to do, the world does not revolve around him. Okay, so we're going to stop that. Now it's about you. So when you are on a higher vibration, meaning you're happy, your life is feeling good, you're worrying about yourself and putting yourself first and your needs first, taking care of your skin, taking baths, doing all of that, he is just going to come into the best version of him and start even treating you better. And you're going to be like, damn, this all I had to do? Yeah, that's all you had to do. I guarantee you, when you start treating yourself better, you will get better treatment from others. You People just going to act different. I don't even know how to explain it, but that's just how the universe works. I didn't make this up. And I wish this wasn't the way the universe works because sometimes we have negative thoughts and I'd be like, dang, star, don't, don't you know what? Erase that. Nope, that's not going to happen because I know my thoughts create. So if you don't like your reality right now, change it with your thoughts change it with your habits. You can change your entire life. Setting your intentions, attitude of gratitude, and just watch it unfold. When things are not when you think things are not going right, let them be. Don't get upset, don't feed into it because you don't want to feed anything negative because we're stopping the negativity in your relationship. Okay? Grab my book if you want deeper understanding on all of this. I hope this video helps some of you.